Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now, and today I'm gonna take you through how to install Jenkins on your Linux system or EC2 instance. Oh, so without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So uh, I I have this AWS account. Okay, so you have to have one AWS account and make sure to choose region from here. So I'm from Mumbai, so I have choose this AP South one and after that you need to choose uh, EC2 you can search here as well for EC2 and once you do that after that you can uh, launch new instance from here just click here and just select the instance that you want to create uh, so this is ubuntu 20 which is latest one that i'm going to select you can choose any by the way it's all your choice and after that i'm going to choose t2 micro so t2 micro that that will be fine for me which is uh, you can choose uh, according to your choice according to the memory that you want and uh, this is enough for me so just click here on review and launch and after that you what you have to do is just click here on launch again so this is it now we need a key pair in order to connect with the ec2 instance so you can name it whatever it may be so whatever it may be like that okay and just download this thing and make sure to uh, save this thing properly okay this is a one time key that you will get after that you can create by the way no worries so launch instance and this is it this is all you have to do to uh, launch new instance it will take a while till then what we can do this is in pending state okay so we'll go quickly over here and you can use this extension okay which is uh, uh, which will list all the ec2 instances that you have okay so anyways you can search for ec2 here as well if you want so it's going to take time till then i uh, in downloads i have downloaded this file okay whatever it may be so what i'm going to do i'm going to click here uh, and i'm going to click here on connect and after that i'll get this ssh link over here once we do that we just need to hit sudo command and after that just hit this ssh hyphen i this is the location of your pain file make sure this in downloads so i have uh, already selected this downloads okay and hit enter this is it and after that you need to hit your password hit enter and uh, proceed with yes okay for the first time so uh it's not permitted over here because this public key issue that i'm facing over here i'm not sure what is this but uh uh let me uh try this thing over here in uh, from my terminal i hope i'm not making any mistakes so publicly denied uh okay let me try this again uh, with my normal terminal okay so i'm going to uh search for my normal terminal and here what i'll do is i'll uh, quickly change uh, to cd into downloads and uh, let me increase the font size quickly and i'm going to uh, copy this thing once again so sudo hit this thing password that is something uh okay and here we go so we are connected with our ec2 instance from here we can proceed with the things so for that you can uh, refer this uh jenkins official now uh, on linux you can search like this or for your system okay i'm going to follow uh, like follow the commands that is provided by jenkins in official side okay so very first command that uh, now we already know let me open this thing in new tab okay so the very first command is sudo apt update okay it's going to update uh cause okay which is which is uh, required by the way and after that you can now hit this command to install java java is needed in order to use the jenkins so of course we are going to install the jre first so uh if you are watching this video in future definitely please follow the docs in order to not make any mistakes okay after that once we have java then only we can proceed with this thing so make sure uh to follow this doc for uh, your specific system for your mac linux centos fedora whatever the system you're working on okay so uh, it's not needed that uh, you have to use uh, ec2 only apart from that you can use anything by the way it's all your choice so it's going to take a standard time according to the instance that you have created okay we have used the t2 micro that's why it's taking little bit time apart from that um, what we can do uh, once we do this thing uh then only uh, we can proceed with the jenkins okay so i'm not going to pause this video i just want to show you everything and exact time is needed to uh submit this thing okay so let's wait for 100 percent and here we go it's loading 
let me grab this thing once again okay so okay 28 the rest of the thing is very easy once we get the gui in further videos i'll try to create uh, uh kind of i try to follow uh, all the uh things the cicd pipeline and we are going to learn in the future videos but this video is specifically for uh, how to install and set up a jenkins only okay so let me grab this command okay uh, control v enter and lastly just apt get update once and here we go and after that the last one is to install jenkins we need to hit this command so hit enter and here we go it's going to take a standard time till then what we can do we can open the port from uh, instances you just need to go instances once again click here and click here on security uh, the default port of jenkins is 8080 so inbound rules we need to set so for that you need to click here and you need to uh, add it inbound rules so you can add it over here so for that what we have to do is just add new rule okay whatever the port you want to open you can write here like 88 is a default port that we are going to uh, use and you can use 00 to whitelist any ip or you can provide the specific ip as well if you want it's all your choice so once this is done then only we can go again to ec2 instance and now once we go to ec2 what we can do is uh, you will get this link over here which will open in another uh, uh, terminal so let me copy this thing because it's not it, it will not work on https so make sure to use to remove this s from here and use 8080 here like that so for now uh yeah this is done and now we need this password so we don't have the password so let me open this thing in new tab so from here uh, we'll get one command which is this one now with the help of that we are going to get the password the one time password that is uh, needed okay so let me scroll down quickly and here uh, you will get the password this one so uh, let me grab this thing quickly and let me paste this thing over here okay in your jenkins and once you do that the rest of the things is very easy you need to uh, select this install suggested plugins or you can uh, select the specific plugins as well so we are going to uh, select the uh, like the standard uh version so it will take a while to install all the uh plugins okay of course it's going to take time till then okay i have clicked multiple times so that's why it's uh, uh taking time so uh, no worries uh, so it's going to take a while so till then what we can do i'm not as i as i said i'm not going to pause this video so you will know how exactly time is required to finish the task so you can um uh, like forward this video if you want or you can increase the speed of video as well if you want guys so i don't want to waste your time of course so till then uh so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe of course and uh, if you if you are following me for a while then uh, definitely let me know in comment box guys like what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you okay i do uh i make videos on uh, daily basis uh like if i get comments on uh specific videos definitely i always try to create the videos okay so yeah this is how we are going to install all the things okay and okay it's uh it's still loading no worries so why we use jenkins because to set up a ci cd pipeline for testing for automation there are lots of things generally java developers or any spring boot developers nowadays are using spring boot and uh, if, if you can also use docker microservices and there are alternatives are out there but uh, jenkins is more matured we can say as compared to github actions so nowadays we use uh, github actions on uh, for testing we write yaml files over there but uh, jenkins you know, provides you the kind of ui nice beautiful ui that uh, we use on daily basis and which is actually very cool stuff we can say on daily basis we use so that's the thing that we always uh, uh, like uh, every developer uh, wants to work with jenkins uh, so yeah this is it it's still taking time okay here we go now the branch uh, is a branch and groovy this this one are remaining 
uh, and uh, the pam pam authentication which is uh, which is uh, if if you are guys are familiar with the uh, spring boot then uh, these are uh, the plugins like pipeline git branch source uh, if you if you want to connect with git th this uh, things is uh, we are going to use of course and uh, this email extension which is not needed though but uh, i followed the like the standard way okay so yeah this is it all the things are done and as i said guys i am not going to pause this video and here we go for the first time you need to create a user of course so uh let me use mahesh quickly you can use any password let me add my password and my current password is as same as this and my full name so my full name is mahesh dipakaria if i'm not making any mistakes k r i y so uh it's my mahesh kare is my official email address if you wanna discuss some more things uh, you can mail me here as well so save and continue and you can skip uh, to admin as well if you want so it's all your choice and after that save and finish and now uh, you'll be greeted with uh, this uh, beautiful page you just need to start using jenkins and here we go so this is the very first time if you are using then this will be a ui where you can create a new atom from here you can proceed with the project you can proceed with the pipeline and lots of other things so you just need to name it with like project and here we go click on select the pipeline go with the stuffs and here we go like the no valid was included request let me go back so the rest of the things that you can do on your own like uh, if i'm mixing something i'm not sure so this is the kind of ui and we'll learn how to create a job set up the cicd pipeline in the further videos so you can explore these things guys if you are using this for the very first time so thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want okay and don't forget to subscribe of course and smash that like button if you enjoyed already and thank you so much good day bye bye